Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chris, and today we're looking at the Movavi Photo Noir software that allows you to edit your photos into black and white and make the colors really stand out, and it's super easy to use. So I want to go over it with you. If you want to follow along, you can download it for the PC or the Mac by going to movtrials.com. That link is also directly under this video. If you click on it, it's going to take you to Movavi's website, and you just want to come to the top here under Products and under photo and you'll see they have a lot of different photo tools available and you want to come down here to where it says photo noir and you just want to click at and it'll bring you straight here to this page and if you're not familiar with what that is it's actually a term that was used uh, back in early 1940s and 50s which uh, when dramas and uh, crime shows were shot in black and white so they kind of take that whole effect and we're applying it to images so um, go to movtrials.com, download the software. Once you download it, install it, and open it, your screen's going to look like this. And all you want to do is open up your image by clicking Browse for Images. Um, this is the last one that I edited, and we're going to work on it. So I'm going to click on Browse for Images, and there's the image of my little kitten with uh, flowers around its head. Now down here you've got some options. Uh, you can see the size of it's 3000 by 3000, which I don't want it that big to work with. So I'm going to come up here, click on resize, and we're going to make it 1280 by 800. Click apply. Okay, and I'm just going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out when I edit this. You can also come down here and there's options where you can zoom in and out and when you work on this you want to zoom in as far as you can uh, that way you're getting it as detailed as you can now in this little tutorial that I'm going to do I am not going to be very precise with everything I do because if I do it take me forever considering that these flowers have so many different edges and points I'd have to go around so this video is just to kind of give you a tutorial of the software and show you how it works so once you have your photo open, you want to go up here and click on the Noir or the camera icon. And you're going to see default presets already made up for black and white settings where they have different levels of it. Darkness, lightness. Uh, and you just want to kind of go through here and choose one that you like for your photo. And you can also make your own custom presets. I don't have any of those. I've always, uh, I just like the ones they have here. And so what I'm going to do is click on Espresso. This is my favorite one because it kind of darkens the whole thing. Um, and then from here, I want to make the kitten's eyes stand out and some of the flowers up here on its head. So we're going to come up here and click on the black and white brush. And you're going to see there's two options, one for size and one for softness. Uh, the size is the size of your brush. So you can see here how uh, big the brush is. And if I take it all the way down to here, you're going to see how it gets a lot smaller. So it allows you to work. Um, a lot more closely with the image and the details and the softness is basically uh, how hard you want it to how hard you want the collar to show through so what I usually do um, well depending on what I'm going to work on I'll kind of show you through here as I'm doing it the differences so first I want to work on the eyes so what I want to do is zoom all the way in and we'll work on this eye first and you can see my uh, the size of my brush is way too small to do this so we're going to make it bigger here and just a little bit bigger. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. And then what I'm going to do is click once here. Okay, actually, let's make a little circle, and you can kind of see how it does there. And then if I take the softness, turn it all the way up, and make it here, you can see the difference, how this is kind of really smooth on the outside of the edges, and this is uh, just kind of really uh, solid on the outside. So if you want something to... Um, if you're working in an area where it's kind of rounded, you may want to work more on the edge of the, or, or on the softness. If you're working on something that's more of a flat, um, you may want to bring us, bring us all the way down. So I'm just going to leave this up here. And we're going to go ahead and fill this in. And we're going to do the other eye, and then I'm going to do a little bit of the flower on the head, but not too much of it. Okay, now right now this is showing up as blue, and that's only to show you the area that you're, that you're working on. Uh, once you take the mouse off the picture, it will actually show you the real collar. So uh, once I come up here and move my mouse, clear off, you're going to see how it changed there. So there it is where, with the mouse on it, and there it is with it off. So let's go ahead and do the other eye.
Okay, zoom out, and there's the eyes done. And that was so easy, only took a matter of seconds, and it looks really good. And then we can do the same thing with the flowers here. And I'm just going to do this really quick, because I don't want to take too much time in this video. If you wanted to, you could make your brush size really small, zoom in, and go around every edge of this flower, and it would look really, really nice. But I just, I'm not going to take the time to do that yet. So, but you can see that there, and and that looks really good, other than where I went out of the lines there, but. But that's how easy it is to use this tool. Um, really great, very affordable. So if you want to check it out, you can get the free trial to kind of mess around with it. Um, it'll let you do all this here. Actually, that's the one I'm using right now is the free trial version because it lets you uh, download it and you can play with all the tools. You can see all the settings and basically do everything you want to do with it. The only thing you can't do is export it. You can't save it. So uh, if you want to check it out, though, it's movtrials.com. That link's directly under this video. And I hope this video has kind of helped you guys out to um, really enhance your photos. Thanks.